My name is Emma Sasek, Judith and Sheila. It's a pleasure to speak with you. I hope you're both doing very well today. Thank you. Thank you. I can just imagine how impactful and powerful it was to be on a set with so many incredible women around you. Can you both tell me a little bit about that experience and if it was something like you've never experienced before? It, it was, um, we never, I had never experienced it before and it was a very theatrical uh, experience. Um, I come from the theater and so does Judy. So it, that was, it was like home. We got very comfortable in the hayloft with each other. We spent so many hours together, both off, off set and on set. And, you know, um, speaking Sarah Pauli's words from the original novel, it was a, an incredible gift. Well, I had done uh, two or three plays that were all uh, all female cast. So I had had the experience before, but I'd never done a film, which of course the cast and the crew is just as much a part of the cast. Mm -hmm. And the fact that there were so many females on the crew was uh, a new experience for me. So uh, it was exciting. It was, mm -hmm. it was, it was comfortable. Mm -hmm. Whatever behaviors we, we have between men and women that are just inherent in the, the gender difference, um, uh, you didn't have to deal with it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we talked so a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and your two characters bring uh, a different perspective to this very uh, important conversation that's taking place in terms of more matriarchal roles uh, among the elders in the community. Can you tell me what specifically you wanted to bring to these two women who really are just trying to get through this and maybe even see a whole new way of life for themselves and their daughters and, and children? I think being a little bit older afforded us a more patient um, take on that we were not quite as hot-headed. We've been around longer. Um, and I think for me, Greta bided her time knowing that she probably wanted to leave and, and just finding ways of humor and storytelling um, in order to get her wishes across to the rest of the, rest of the women. I think Agatha was, is incredibly um, uh, devoted to her faith. And uh, she did not want rash decisions or rash behavior to um, be the, the ruler of this choice, uh, whatever choice we made, and mm -hmm. that it would always be guided by um, her faith in God. And of course, you have to love the horses that are constantly brought up. <laughs> yes. Ruth and Cheryl, my horses. You know, it's interesting, even though the women have 48 hours to make this decision, it's a very slow, methodical process that we're, nobody's rushing. Like, we are going to take our time and make the right decision for us. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty cool. It is. Thank you so very much for your time today. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure.